from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow, Knowledge17. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back to Orlando, everybody. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage, and we are covering three days wall-to-wall -wall coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 2017. I'm Dave Vellante with my co-host, Jeff Frick. When we first started doing Knowledge in 2013, you'd walk around the show floor and the names that you'd see um, weren't the brand names. Well, Infosys is here, and Gaurav Unial, who's the industry principal of North America for the practice lead at ITSM for the ServiceNow practice with Infosys, you're seeing the big SIs join you know, the community and really start to add value. Gaurav, welcome to theCUBE, thanks so much. Thank you. So how'd you guys get into this? Um, like I say, four or five years ago, you guys you know, might have been kicking the can and mm -hmm. now you're all in. What's the journey been like? Sure, sure. So, so we have been a partner with ServiceNow for almost last eight years and um, so as I look back through the journey, so you know, I can categorize the journey into four parts, right? So initially we saw 2010 to 2012 is basically about ITSM, you know, how do you get the foundation capabilities in. Right. Once that was there, we saw for the next couple of years, it was all about, you know, how do you integrate services together, right? The service integration management as a concept. The third way we saw is where concepts like ITOM, mobility, you know, a, there's a lot of focus on user experience, right? Uh, and now, you know, here we are in 2017, and uh, as we look at the trends, you know, what we are anticipating for the next two to three years, uh, on a very high level, there are three trends which we believe are going to shape the journey of service now. First one is AI. Obviously, you know, how do you, you know, bring in concepts of machine learning, chatbots, predictive analytics, right? And how would that help organization do things faster, more efficiently, and in a cost optimization manner, right? So AI is definitely one. Second trend that we are seeing is now organizations are looking for solutions that are relevant to their business, right? So solutions which are specific to retail industry, to CPG, to finance, to healthcare, and so on and so forth. So we are seeing a lot of traction there. And third is the natural expansion of service now into newer areas like, you know, obviously CSM, HR, and so on and so forth. So these are the three trends on a high level that we see AI going vertical and then going horizontal by expanding these capabilities. So a big factor um, <coughs> when you talk to customers is sometimes it's not simple to implement yeah. you know, service now. They need a partner yes. like yours. So, where do you start? I mean, when we first started following ServiceNow, a lot of folks weren't adopting CMDB and going hard at the service mm -hmm. catalog. To take advantage of these trends, the, the AI and other things that you talked about, yeah. do they need to be there? I mean, on the maturity curve, mm -hmm. if you could talk about that a little bit. Sure, sure. So what we see is that obviously there are a set of foundational capabilities that are required, right? Uh, there's definitely a push required from the management to be able to you know, drive the initiative. But more and more we are seeing, you know, our clients uh, implementing the solution in a standardized manner. So if I look back four or five years back, a lot of customization, everybody have their own processes. But when I talk to the clients now, they're looking for something which is ready-made, which can be deployed in a very, very, you know, faster manner. Mm. Corp, why Infosys? Talk about what you bring to the table versus maybe some of the other, other suppliers out there. And you know, what do you consider your sweet spot? Sure. So I think I would, you know, uh, a couple of things. So one is, Infosys. Uh, we do a lot of work outside of service now, right? So we have a practices for cloud. We have practices for HR, you know, and and so on and so forth. So one thing that we bring to the table is the domain expertise. So if you are implementing HR, it requires not only service now skills but as well as domain skills to be able to configure the processes, right? So that's, that's one differentiator that we have. The second differentiator we have is delivering service now as a service, right? So clients are also looking for turnkey projects where one vendor can you know, bring in the platform, bring in consulting, implementation services, and also be able to manage the platform end to end, right? So that's the second thing. And third thing is, is you know, basically being ahead of the curve. So what we have done, we have invested last, I would say last eight to 10 months in building a product that we brand as ESM Cafe. 
enterprise service management cafe and it's you know what we call as a like a gold image of service now right and that helps you deploy service now faster in an efficient manner so grav what did you see eight years ago because clearly service now isn't where it is today mm -hmm. that gave you guys the confidence to make the investment right so uh, and before service now we used to work with other products as well uh, what we saw new with service now was a huge focus on user experience right so how do you make it easy for the users how do you deploy an intuitive solution and in our view that has been the key right the focus on user experience bring simplistic workflows and be able to drive you as a user behavior. Maybe some of those other domains, you mentioned HR, where else do you see Infosys is really strong? Sure, so what we are seeing is ITOM is definitely one area that you know, we are focusing on, right? Uh, HR, CSM, these are two big bits that we have. And then we are also focusing a lot on building vertical solutions. As I said, you know, having specific solutions for retail industry, for our healthcare clients, for manufacturing clients, so that, that has been a focus here for us. Okay, we're out of time, Gaurav, but I, I'd like to leave you with the last word, knowledge 2017, um, you know, what does it mean to you, your customers, sort of Infosys and your presence here? Well, give us the bumper sticker. Sure, so I think in, if I have to summarize everything in one word, I will say it's all about diversity, right? We see so many partners, so many clients, everybody, they have their own perspective, but how do you bring in all that diverse experience and gel it together to be able to you know, deliver the experience for the users. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, Garv, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Yep, it has been a pleasure. Okay, we'll Thank keep you. it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this short break. This is theCUBE. We're live from ServiceNow Knowledge 17. Right back. Okay.